enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. Good to see you. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, you all ready for a good yeah, chat? Yeah, yeah. I do worry about social media. Yeah. Um, like throw away comments. No, there's no accountability when it comes to like creating accounts and yeah. like I just I worry for young people, people yeah. with mental health issues and, and young people because something some the throw away comment could have a, a massive impact on on, on those individuals. Like, yeah. And that goes across the board. I think so. Yeah. No, I, I agree. Yeah. yeah. Like you don't really know what someone else is kind of what they've got going on. So yeah. Small little comment that they might think is is fairly. Innocuous. Innocuous, whatever, it could have a massive impact, yeah. 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 I think we, we do need to challenge a little bit more, I think, yeah. when it comes to social media, but we're a long way off that. I yeah, think. yeah. But then obviously there's like, you know, some positives with it as well. Like, I think athletes and professional players and stuff talking about being more open about their mental health and stuff recently has, has been brilliant. Yeah. Um, Talk Your Feelings has been a great campaign. You've, through you've been back in that, Ireland. Right? I've been involved in that a little bit this year and. It's cool. Yeah, we've seen some some great interviews and podcasts and stuff with with rugby players across the country, and I think, you know, being players being positive role models for mental health <coughs> is is a really really positive um, of social media. Yeah, yeah. and like um, I don't know what what tips what have you learn from being involved with tackle your feelings. What can I learn from it? Um, I think it's a kind of a lot around the support network. Yeah, um, you know, having a group of people that. You can kind of chat to them about anything. Yeah. Talking early, so it's like not building up, Inside. like not building a problem up to be something that it's not. Um, and then also being there for your support network. I kind of found that probably when I was vulnerable with people, then it kind of opens the door for them to also have a conversation with you about something that it's they're struggling true. with. So I think um, really having a strong support ne network around you is very important. Yeah. Yeah, no, I agree. It's probably harder, I don't know, am I stigmatising here, but is it probably harder for men to like open up about their feelings or do you think, I like, think we're coming... I think we're getting away from that a bit good. now and I think, yeah. again, by having professional players, people like that, talking about yeah. mental health so openly, I think that's definitely, definitely helping. Yeah, for sure. Um, I don't think it's as like it used to be for that. Yeah. Certainly my teammates in Leinster and stuff, we're, we're all very good and we look out for each other and rugby players in Ireland run um, workshops like Tack Your Feelings workshops that kind of thing which yeah. have been great That's cool. and kind of you know it's an open conversation then with the group and I think it really helps people open up yeah for sure no well I think what we're trying to achieve here today is like highlighting different avenues to make it easier for young people you know to come out yeah. and feel comfortable and brave um, yeah like I think you know, if there, there was someone struggling, maybe just maybe tell one person and, you know, they'll help you make a plan. And um, I think, it, like I said, with your support network, just talking to one person kind of kind of halves the problem a bit. Yeah. And then, you know, you'll probably be, you'll probably find that they'll be cool. unbelievably accepting of yeah. it. And you might be, you know, you're probably going to be surprised with how well they take it. That's um, obviously your experience. That's been my experience. That's yeah, been like, my experience yeah. too. Like. I think we can really mag magnify an issue in your own head and the m sense of relief like yeah. is massive, isn't it? Yeah, it like, you know, I kind of, the first few times I was telling my close friends or family, like I was upset and I was, you know, like, <coughs> they kind of, not that they were like, oh, who, who cares? But it was kind of that reaction, yeah. which was, which was nice. Reaction. Like, yeah, yeah. Do you know, they really weren't bothered as long as I was happy with yeah. me. So yeah. um, it's been a really positive experience, yeah. yeah. And I think probably a add to that would be um, a, a tip from my perspective would be it takes time. Like that's that's like the first step and in, in confiding in, in the right person or people. And and then it's just taking the time to really just understand you as a person and yeah. just be kind to ourselves and try to like um, block out that negative dialogue because that really does mess with your head. I found. Yeah. Um, but I think the more the more people I told, just the the, the weight could, like just kept lifting off, yeah. off my shoulders, and thankfully, and we spoke like how we're in a place that you know we're very comfortable, and yeah. that's the way it should be, and that's the way it yeah. should always be.